The Rebalt River runs along Ken Knight Drive. That's a neighborhood that was one of the hardest impacted during Hurricane Irma. The city of Jacksonville has a plan to spend $5 million to buy out the homeowners there and clear the land as a floodplain. But before the city can begin to appraise those homes, a local attorney has some concerns about how fair it is to the people who live there. Ken Amaro, though, is on your side. When it rains, it floods in this Ken Nye Drive community. In fact, this is standing water just from the recent rains. Three years ago, it was under three feet of water after Hurricane Irma. Some properties have already been condemned. Others are now waiting on the city's buyout. Alton Gordon is affectionately called the mayor of Ken Knight Drive. So I just started helping people with their, you know, their valuables and stuff. Attorney Carrington Mead represented clients in the recent buyout of South Shore, another flood-prone area. He wants to see Ken Knight get the same fair treatment in the buyout. Well, my concern is that because of the neighborhood and the history of the neighborhood and what brought it there in the valuation of the properties that these folks aren't going to be compensated uh, nearly as much as the folks in the South Shores neighborhood. It is riverfront, but Mead says it won't be appraised as such. You would think that normally that type of, you know, property would be at a high valuation, but it's not because of its location and who it's there. He says the Ken Knight community has too many disparities, in his words, the long-term effects of redlining. What the neighborhood has in common with the red line areas is the fact that there's poor infrastructure. Mead says the appraisals will be based on conditions prior to Irma. Only a fraction of a fraction of a fraction in comparison to the South Shore neighborhood are going to be eligible for this buyback. And they're not even going to get enough money because of the valuation of the property to make the person last month's rent payment. The city plans to begin appraisals soon. The $5 million will be used to buy 40 to 50 properties. Carrington Mead says if he can get a client, he plans to sue to be sure that the property owners get equity pay in this neighborhood. Canamero, First Coast News on your side. Very important concerns raised there. Ken, thank you so much. And if you have a problem about anything, that's what we're here for. Just send us an email to onyourside at firstcoastnews.com.